Kims. Hello everyone, I am Jenny Axler and welcome to this series of short video tutorials on the CubeRail XL. The most notable thing about the CubeRail XL is its unique hybrid keyboard, which allows you to create and edit text in Braille while commanding and operating your computer, phone, or tablet using standard QWERTY keystrokes. So we'll start by exploring that layout. So basically what we've done is to remove the letters and numbers from a standard QWERTY keyboard and replace them with a nine key Perkins style keyboard. So if we start on the same row as the space bar from left to right, we have control, function, windows, alt, space, alt, applications, and control. To the right of that, we have a normal four-way arrow pad. And above that, we have a six-pack that's sort of turned on its side. So across the top, we have delete and insert. Then underneath that, we have home and end on the left and page up and page down on the right. If we go to the left of the Perkins style keyboard, we have Shift, Caps Lock, and Tab in their usual positions. And to the left of those, we have a couple of CubeRail specific keys. We have the Mode key, the Pairing key, and above those is the Escape key in its normal position. Across the top then, we have the usual F1 through F12. So moving around to the right edge, we have the SD card slot, which we use to store notepad documents. Daisy Books, Appointments, and your CubeRail settings. In front of that, we have the USB-C port, which we use to charge the unit, transfer files via mass storage mode, and of course, to connect as the USB Braille display or keyboard. If we move to the left edge, we have only the power button, which has a dot on it as it's very flush with the unit. That will wrap up the quick tour of the unit, and next time we will explore the internal menu structure. For more details on any of our HIMSS products, you can visit our website at www.himsintl.com or send us an email at hymns at Thanks for watching.